Hello everyone. Uh, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, let's start uh, working on the steady state uh, sinusoidal steady state simulation and I'll be working on the same circuit that was chosen by Professor Samyung Ha. Uh, this is the circuit and let's start building it in LTSPICE. We'll try to follow all the steps. We'll try to find the voltages and the currents as 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 we solve the problem we know that uh, uh, we, we will be expecting uh, the current having an amplitude of 6.15 amp and this is the phase uh, phase angle of the current so let's start working with it go open the LTSPICE we start with the shortcut which is control N for the new schematic what we need in the circuit we need two resistors and two capacitors, one inductor, two resistors. So I clicked, uh, I clicked R, I'm sorry, the, hit the key R to get the resistor. And then another resistor, we got two resistors. Perfect, hit the escape key, hit L for inductor. Since we want it horizontal, I'll say control plus R will rotate it. I'll rotate it this way. Uh, put it here, perfect. Now we need two capacitors. So first capacitor, which should be in parallel to R2, and the other one is horizontal. Control R plus R to rotate. Now uh, let's place it here. Perfect. We have two R, L, and then C. Perfect. Now we start wiring the circuit. Use F3 as a shortcut for connecting the wires. Click, click, click. That's how we connect the wires. Just keep on clicking and start connecting, uh, start wiring your circuit. Perfect. And then, okay, we go here. Uh -oh. And then we go here. And bring the ground. If you press G, you will get the ground. Put the ground over here. F3 for wire, and I that's it. So, and then let's fit the circuit. Oh, we still need a power supply. Forgot the power supply. Uh, well, we need a voltage source. <clears throat> uh, it's an AC voltage source, which will have the amplitude of 40 and an angle. Well, phase is again, as, as, uh, as you've been told that Phase doesn't matter here because we are starting a voltage source and we are not comparing it against anything. Uh, the, the starting phase is not being compared to anything, so it could be any phase. Uh, so phase is not important. The amplitude is important and the frequency is important. And the frequency is, we know that it is uh, cos of omega t and omega is equal to 5. And we know that it's 2 by 5. Uh, sorry, 2 pi f, omega is 2 pi f, and we can find the frequency. So put, bring in the voltage source. I'll go F2 for the search. Uh, voltage source, perfect. Uh, then take it in parallel. F3 for the wire connection. Uh, wire connection. All right. Press the escape key. Uh, bring the resistor values. The two resistors are 10 ohm and 6 ohm. Okay. And ohm, this one is 6 ohm. Uh, capacitor is 200 milli and 500 milli. 200 milli. And the other one is 500 millifarad. Inductor was 2 milli. Perfect. So we've done the circuit. Let's uh, set our voltage source. Uh, go to advanced. Mm, choose sine wave. That's what you want. What is the amplitude? Amplitude is. 40 and the frequency is 5 divided by wait will be 5 divided by 6.228 which is 2 pi right yeah, 6.28 0 0.79 I'll say 0 0.8 I'll take 0 0.8 where is okay sorry okay i'll take 0. Point, i'll take the value 
0 0.796 0 0.796 that's it we don't need the delay we don't need data five degree perfect voltage source is done let's label <clears throat> label our uh, diagram use the net label i'll take the net label i'll i'll say this is voltage source okay i'll connect it here and then another voltage here and the third one here see and i'll name this one as v1 and this one as v2 okay my ground is set my voltage source is set we are ready to run the simulation so go to the command where is the transit here's the transit simulation uh, let's choose let's choose 10 seconds for our uh, simulation and we'll see uh, definitely we'll have to increase the time because sinusoidal won't be able to settle between 10, uh, 10 seconds and you will see that the uh, steady state, state hasn't been uh, reached and we will see some ripples within the voltage and current sources let's see let's simulate and we'll change the time okay, okay. uh your circuit is here let me so let me bring it okay and let me just fit this circuit and that's my window oh or just a little bit more okay so uh simulation uh, simulation is running let's see the voltage source okay the 40 amplitude and we have the the period of the wave here okay so our system is running good uh, let, so try let's let's check the current of the source that's the current of the source and that's what you see i mean you see that the current hasn't settled down so it's still wavy i mean so let me take the current only you see that's that that that's something we don't want because it's still in the transient phase uh current across the resistor capacitor inductor and then this capacitor and then the voltage v2 yeah i mean the waves are not settled so we still have all those baby things so let's go go to the simulation command i'll click here go to the simulation edit simulation command uh, I'll make it 100 seconds, run the simulation again, perfect. We see that the pattern, which is here, you see all this wavy pattern is ultimately disappearing when it goes to this stage. You see they become quite, uh, quite periodic. All of them, the, 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 the harmonics has gone and they have quite settled down to a steady state and the, the colors look beautiful. So uh, let's start uh, analyzing. So first of all, we'll do all the processes that we are required uh, to do. So let me let me just get the, the voltage source, which is V1. I'll just take the voltage source V1. And now I'll take the current. Okay, and uh, you see, I'm just viewing that window, that small area. Let me fit this one. Let me fit this one and I'll just choose this area. And I see the 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 current. Uh, <clears throat> what was is, so the current value is on the on the right side, this current scale. What value do we do we expect for the for the current? What is ex expected value? So our expected value is 6.15 ampere. Let's see if we get the 6.15 ampere. So let me just get the current only. Okay. Uh, no, no. We we don't have. Okay. I think it never ever reached even six amperes, right? Let me just click more. Yeah. 6 ampere is somewhere here, so it never reached 6 ampere, but our expectation, what is our expectation? Uh, <clears throat> is 6.15 ampere. So what we can do in this case, 
rather you guys can actually make those settings forever so go to the uh, yeah, go to the simulate and the simulation control panel so what we are, I'm going to do I'm go just going to increase the tolerance uh, reduce the tolerance and increase the uh, the accuracy of the system so I'll go to the control panel from the simulate where is the spice yep here's the spice and then instead of the solver the the solver we are going using normal choose the alternate where okay here choose the alternate self, uh, solver and then come to the relative tolerance you see 0 0.001 we want to even bigger the, even the smaller tolerance as you start increasing the the zeros you will see that the current uh, is going towards the required value 6.15 ampere at least i hope so so let me again say so it, it was around 5.92 ampere right never even reached during the steady state never even reached 6 ampere <clears throat> so let me increase 1 2 3 4 5 6 these many zeros Okay, once you've done that, run the simulation again. Of course, the simulation will be slow now. Yeah, you see that? It has to really draw the simulation. And now let's uh, explore that area. Oh, I think we reached the value now. Yeah, we are almost at 6.15 now. A little bit low, but I mean, it's in the same region. If I increase the, the reduce the tolerance more, uh, then actually I might achieve the 6.15 so if you want to do let's quickly do it uh, sorry sorry not that simulate control panel spice solver is alternate uh, let me get that will, the simulation will be very slow then uh, so I don't want to do it but let's do it but I'll change it later uh, simulation okay Oh, now it's gonna, going to take ages. Oh, oh, I should have done that. So, yeah, but in the end, you we will be getting... So the, the main idea is to actually correlate with our, our values here. So that's very important so that you can verify that the simulation is uh, kind of similar to, to, the, to the expected values, analytical values. So that's th that should happen. So, uh, okay, simulation is done. Uh, let's look at this area now. Uh, look at this small area, and I think. Oh no, it pointed. Oh e yes. Six point <laughs> it has gone beyond six point one five anyways. So that actually, but you see, I mean the waves here, uh some of them are a little bit longer than the others. So <clears throat> yeah, six point one five. So we are very close. But I don't want to keep that tolerance. What I'll do, I'll go to the control panel, I'll go to the spice not 12 um, zero, zero, 8 would be good for me okay i'll run the simulation yeah simulation is fast and and i'm close to the to the required value 6.15 yeah we're very close i mean if, if you see from the scale here it's very close it's in the middle uh, of 6.0 and 6.2 so I'm, I'm i'm happy with that <clears throat> So that's very important. So you always be, uh, set your uh, spice relative tolerance and save it. It will stay there forever. Okay. So uh, I'm done with that. Uh, let's see the 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 capacitor around this uh, the vo sorry the the voltage which is V two around this capacitor and the current through the capacitor. So I'll go. I'll see voltage. Let me just do it. This is the voltage across the capacitor, and let's see the the current so that's the current so perhaps you can see uh, 
the 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 difference the, in the lead and lag i mean it's almost 90 degree. if we try to manipulate here yes that's too much so let's take that much here okay so you see it's a there's a difference of 90 degree uh, almost 90 degree you can actually always try to if if you're not comfortable you can go you can say draw draw the line and just make an imaginary line here just to confirm and then yeah and then you you will know that i mean the the difference between the between the two peaks uh, is almost 90 degree and then we know that uh, in in capacitor uh, the current would lead the uh, the current would lead the voltage and here is my current so start from some point i mean it can be seen where is zero okay so the uh, this is my voltage so when my voltage is zero my current is leading already by by 90 degree all right so let me remove that and then if you would like to see the the current through the inductor that's the current through the inductor and uh, as we did let, uh, let's try to do <clears throat> to let's try to find the difference between v1 and v2 so that it will give us the voltage of inductor actually in lt spice it's quite easy so if you would like to find the difference between two voltages all you have to do is right click on the plot window add traces we want to find the difference of v1 and v2 i'll go v1 minus v2 perfect and that green thingy is now my voltage and you can actually confirm with with the plots of professor summing these are the same plots uh, that we were getting and then this this is the current and then again you will see that the the difference is 90 degree and we know that in vector the voltage will lead and you can find out that how let me remove delete this trace all right and you will know that how the voltage is leading the current that's all from from my side i hope you'll enjoy the you've enjoyed the the this video tutorial and we'll be working more let's do some let me let me bring more color i like those colors so wow wait a minute more more yeah look at this uh sorry okay just before ending video look at this i mean look at this beauty all those colors oh just remember one one more thing actually you can make your plot more beautiful and actually it looks to me it looks good so you can go to view and mark data points it'll give you the data points which software the solver is using uh to, to find the values so this is the algorithmic values so it, it choose all those points and then connects through the connects these points uh, to make the plot all right everyone have a good day